hopefully. Yeah. Yep, I think we're back. Yay. Um, painting today a, what, what I painted for Sky 5, but I didn't video it and it was a student favorite. So the first thing I'm talking about is mixing the colors for the sky. And when I paint skies, actually when I paint anything, my preference is to start with what's farthest away from me first and then move forward. So in this case, what the farthest away is the blue in through here and then this pale peachy orange color and then the other clouds are on top of that. So you don't see my palette in this, but I have uh, ultramarine blue, which I'll put over here and white. Should have started with white first and then added the ultramarine. Ooh, that is not ultramarine. Mm. That is... Okay. I need to edit that. I thought I put the ultramarine. That, see, I didn't, I didn't label it. That is too... That doesn't lean... Okay, th the reason why I know that does not lean toward violet. Huh. So that is not ultramarine. So that's a good lesson anyway. Um, is it cobalt? I don't, I, I don't have cobalt. Um, it might have been... No, it was, wasn't a video blue either. Okay, I'll have to edit that part. Let's see, what about this one? Okay, that's ultramarine. See the difference? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's cooler. Yes. And I was... You know, I'm glad you said that. Because I was looking at... How many of you came to that color mixing workshop did any of you okay just all day saturday night? yeah it was yeah. an all day saturday workshop and there was a debate yeah there was a debate on which is cooler ultramarine or um phthalo and i think at that time i said phthalo was cooler mm -hmm. but it isn't and the, the reason the, it, it i didn't dawn on me until i heard that video because i was saying when when you add white to something when you add white to something, it cools it down, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so when I add white to my ultramarine, I got more of a lavender. When I added white, this was this was a, this was a phthalo. Mm -hmm. When I added white to phthalo, I got more of a turquoise. Well, turquoise has more yeah. yellow in it, mm -hmm. so, it's so it's warmer. This has goes toward. Because I thought, well, it goes toward violet, which has red, but because yellow is the first color in nature to disappear in the distance, to, that was my conclusion as to that this, in this case, this would be cooler. cooler. Mm -hmm. And I think I said it, it looks cooler when you look at both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think yeah. I said it backwards mm -hmm. in in that video, mm -hmm. but if if when you add color to anyway distraction mm. okay so actually what I like is a combination of these two because this that uh, comparison Lee that's too purple for what's there and this is too turquoise for what's there so I'm gonna combine the two I was trying to do it with phthalo and ultramarine and no other blue because almost everybody has those two. Now that's Show me uh, look the video the in, in life. No, that is way too. Yeah, so need a lot more white. And that's one of the things to me. Yeah, that uh, skies are we do injustice in skies is we put way too see that, that you can't when you look at this photo that photo in the video is way darker than the photo in person I don't know why that but that's still too light so this is all I'm doing is I'm just mixing I'm closing one eye and kind of looking to see if um, if it's close, and I'm not going to worry about if it. Oh, that's way 
way too dark because I want to get, I'm just going to go with it. I'm not going to worry about it. Can you point to the phthalo on your metal palette, please? That's it. It's really dark. I have a phthalo that leans a little bit more, to strikingly more turquoise than yours. I don't know mm -hmm. which one to make. Most well, there are. Okay. okay. So Mine's a Windsor. Well, and, and they're, you know, different brands are, are Very different. Very different. Yeah. So I'm going to use this same technique that I've been using, uh, is that what I learned with Albert Hendel. And I'm just using uh, one of my crummy brushes <laughs> that I've totally destroyed because I'm going to scrub on the canvas. I don't want to use anything that's precious to me. So I'm just going to take this lighter tone. It's, oh, before I do that, I'm going to be ed editing a lot of this. If I learn how. Uh, I don't see my, hold on. There it is. I want to establish where my horizon line is. Okay, so this is seven would help if I measure from the one, okay, uh, seven inches, and um, I think I want my horizon line around the two inch mark. It's not exactly a third, but it's close enough for me. <laughs> because my son is going to be a little above that. So, um, I want the water to be somewhere around two inches. So here, here's my tic-tac-toe board and I want, I want the water to be right around here because the sun I want to be right about here. Okay, so the thing about a sun is so many times when you paint it, you paint it too large. And uh, if you paint it too large, it doesn't read right. So I am going to get rid of the lines around that. And I'm going to show you today, this has become one of my favorite painting tools. Hmm. All right, so here we go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start with the light. Uh, if, if, this, if my sun is right here, then the light of the blue is up in here. I'm not worried about the uh, poofy clouds that are on top. I just don't want to bring this blue down too far. And I'm looking too at the streaks in the sky. I'm trying to mimic that a little bit. And as I get higher up in the sky, I'm going to add a little more of the uh, phthalo blue. And y'all said yours what was a different color, but just experiment with it and see what what blues look nice. And um, I do have some other. I think terrarium. Yeah, that's a good one. I just don't have it on this particular palette. All right, so I, as your sky goes up, you want it to get darker. All right, so this is, this is pretty rough right now, and I want to smooth it out a little bit. So um, one of the things he uses, he uses napkins. Yeah. I just, because they're already cut, you know, he just takes a napkin. I'm just taking it and lightly, lightly pushing it. I want to, I'm almost lifting it down here. I still have sky color behind it. See, it's tinted, but it's very, very light. And what this does is it allows you to paint directly on top. So it's, it's, so dry. it's because it's so dry. Yeah. And I can always come back later and add more thickness to it if I want, but I want it fairly smooth out here because it's fairly smooth here. Okay, I don't know what that is. Defect in the canvas, maybe? I'll have to put a cloud over that. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah. 
Because, I mean, there's, it's like a, yeah, like a hole or something. Oh, well. Always a challenge. So, um, again, when it gets further down here, I'm pressing pretty hard there. But see, look. It's dry. It's dry. Mm -hmm. So, that in itself has been one thing that has just been so good for, for me because I want to be able to finish a painting in a in one sitting if at all possible at least these small ones okay so I have that in there I did wash my brush Ooh, I didn't get it very good try that again are you considering this your underpainting yeah sort of I mean a lot of times before I would do an underpainting with like an orange and I guess I, I would, if I did that in acrylic like I used to do, I would, I would still do it in orange under here, and but then do this really thin on top. But I haven't tried that, so I don't know if I would still like that if it's really thin. It just might dull the orange. It might yeah. just dull the blue. Um, so now I want this orange tone down here. I don't want it extremely bright. So I take CAD orange, I'm going to add white to it, a little more white, a little more orange, and I had a tiny bit of that pale blue because it's about the same value. Can y'all see? Mm -hmm. It's it's actually very very similar, but I didn't want it as vibrant as that. Right. Uh, now close to the sun, I do. I want what's close to the sun. I want it really really bright. So that's what I think a a lot of people don't really you know just if, if it, the sun's bright, it's down on the horizon. You if you don't make it bright enough, you know around it then it's not going to re-bright, so, or you're going to make it too big, but anyway, moving along, I'm going to pick up a different brush, I'm not going to scrub this one quite as much, but let's see, ooh, I think I've kind of messed up my, there, I want to, I want to save my, my lights, so I'm, I'm laying this in fairly thin. A little more white in that. Because there is a soft transition between the peach and the blue. And it's covered up by a lot of clouds. So because the blue is very dry, I can pretty much lay this in. I'm also working with different glasses, so man, I'm just adjusting all sorts of stuff. There's some low-lying clouds here, so I'm gonna. What I want to do is I want. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I'm gonna lay my. I sure did. Thank you for the warning. Okay. Watch where you put your. Uh, T-square. I just got paint all over it. Yeah. I'll hand it to you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. I'm. 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 So I get covered with stuff all the time. <laughs> okay. So do you see how how laying that down gave me my smooth horizon line? Mm -hmm. uh, in the painting or the picture it's not that bright but I'll, I'll come back and add other clouds to it later so that's fine I do want the clouds that I put or the sky I've put to become a little brighter and then when it gets closer to thank you Hillary mm -hmm. then when it gets closer to the uh, sun it's going to get a lot brighter right now it's fairly faded And that's about it. Because <coughs> right along here is where you have that uh, kind of purple tone. 
All right, um, I'm going to take, <coughs> I think I'm going to do the, first one she did that's why I keep looking that way I'm gonna go to the thalo blue uh, which is Dark. where I'm gonna it's darker <coughs> and I want to neutralize it so I'm gonna add this bright orange to it because I want it uh, I don't want it as bright That's still too bright, mm. so I want to. I'm going to add cad yellow. I mean cad red. I have some over here on my palette. Cad red is darker than the orange, but it has a lot of orange in it. A little more of that. There we go. It's hard to tell on the video it still doesn't it still doesn't match on the video it's not exactly perfect but the sky wasn't exactly the same but I want to use the blue that I used in the sky also in the water and uh, because most of my blue was heavy on the phthalo I want to repeat that in the water otherwise it doesn't look like they go together all right so I'm just squinting here and looking at my water I want to go ahead and just establish where that is and I'm going to do this very very thin try to stay right along where the horizon was I'm not pressing hard at all I'm just trying to get it in there it's going to be you know it's going to get brighter where the sun was But where the reflections of the sun are, I'm not going to worry too much. And see, I didn't clean my brush, and I had some orange in my brush. And so when I scrub on the palette, I mean on the canvas, see how I'm kind of cleaning my brush by just scrubbing on the canvas? That's pulling some of that color into, this, into the water. Is that a good thing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it is. Do we want to do that? You do because whatever's in the sky needs to also be, right. you know, you're, you're, yeah, you know, I'm going to come back and make that look a little more specific. This is just the under, under painting, so to speak, of, of the thicker paint. I don't want anything that I put on, on this first coat to be very thick. And then this is darker up here, so I'm not going to smear it quite as much. And that's not dark enough for me. So I'll come back and make it a little darker later. But, um, and then there's ridges. Might have to change brush. This one's a little soft. I like a, I like a stiffer brush. Mm. Well, this is, this is, <laughs> This is the one I usually paint with, but it was with the smaller ones. But I can just really scrub with it and lay it, lay it down. So, um, and that's still all your phthalo mix. There's no ultramarine in that. Mm -mm. It's just phthalo, orange, and uh, cad red. So just just by mixing those two or two or three colors and smearing in with the dirty brush I'm getting a hint of um, of of the water and I like this flat edge brush a little better so I can blur out that um, sky in the distance or the water in the distance okay so I'm going to talk less and start painting. So I'm adding a little bit of sky color. I want it a little brighter than that. Repeat you know, off, off the water. Before I hit where the sun is, I'm going to remove some of what's there. So I want the sun to be right about here. 
I'm going to go ahead and put a dot of really pale yellow. That's probably not intense enough, but it's going to be close to the horizon line. I just want to put it there so I know where the sun is and, and kind of protect that. I'll come back later and make it brighter. Um, but now I know up underneath that, I'm going to lift off some. Just a dry brush? I, I, it's not totally dry. I cleaned it with mineral spirits and um, it has a little, little extra moisture in there, but I don't want it. Get that out of the way. That's a little too wide. And I'm getting crooked. But then you can pull what's over here into that. You know, it's a, the thing that I want y'all to really embrace about oil painting is a push and pull. When it's wet enough, you can push. Joyce has been working on that with her horse. And you can put in the background, you push some in one direction and push some in another. And um, the reflection, if I was standing there taking the picture, you, you just need to make sure it's straight. If I was standing you know, over here, it'd be, the, the, the sun always aims at wherever you are. Did y'all know that? Look at the reflection next time you're, next time you're out, it'll, it'll follow you. It's crazy, but it does. Okay, so, and and some people, well, I don't know about if you want, you know, if you want it straight on. I think I might want it straight on. I can move that over. See, I can just move it over. Stand, pretend I'm standing right here. Is that straight? It's kind of crooked. Oh well, I don't want to spend too much time on that. Y'all got to let y'all paint. Okay, so again, it, not bright enough. See how that's too pale? It's too not pale, not intense enough. So I'm I'm working down here in the water. And then I'm going to go back and work work up in the sky. So I'm just laying in little bits of almost pure orange, but I'm blurring it on top of. of what's already there. Is that slightly thicker paint then than your first layer? Uh, very slightly. Not much at all. And I think I'll like this reflection when I add brighter colors with it being white right now. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, I'm going to come in with pure orange. Ooh. Pure orange with a dirty brush does not yeah. does not equal pure orange. Mm -hmm. I do that all the time. Okay. That still isn't bright enough. That was the hardest thing when I painted this the first time is to find ways to make it brighter. Alright, so that's getting better. Alright, so I'm going to go around the sun. Whoops, just hit it, darn it. You see how small it is? Mm -hmm. And blur some of this out this way. Blur some of it out this way. And make it round. And I'll come back with something else later. But I'm just gonna blur this out. Uh, do you see the pink? haze in that. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to, it, there is a, this one I'll have to double check. I think it's a rose. It might be a magenta. I'm not sure. But I'm going to blur that in, in a 
up here. It's also a lot along the horizon line. And what I also like is it's going to make a nice transition into that violet color that you see. Because pink and violet don't make an ugly color. Pink, uh, orange, and violet don't make a pretty color. So I'm going to go to my ultramarine this time, and I'm going to add that pink to my ultramarine, making this really pretty, ooh, that's too dark. That's way dark. Okay, I'll come, but I want, uh, right now I want darker, because the, um, the lighter part of the clouds is going to be on top of that, and traditional oils, you go dark to light. So I'm just going to smear in where I want some of this, and then I'll blur it together in a bit. So again, there's this long kind of flat cloud along here. There's what further down uh. but it it gets really more neutral over on that side back in with that kind of peachy color and blur those two together. I'm not working with thick dead gummit. <laughs> that looks really bad up on the video. It's really dark on the video. <laughs> it, it is. is. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, you know, when I see whoops, when I see the film from here, I won't know. It, it's hard to tell you know, if the colors are really true to what you did. Try to get them as close as you can. Alright, what I'm not liking is, do you see how how turquoise this is versus how purple this is? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pick up some turquoise that was down in the water and mix in with this purple. And this is where I'm going to start laying in some um, the beginnings of some of these feathery clouds. So I'm just looking to see where they go. I'm just working on the dark. I'm picking up some of what's here and just transferring it. And as I get further up, they get thinner and less pronounced. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Go ahead. Did you uh -huh. get it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're all right. Um, and that's that's you know again that might be something I need to to like it's so hard to for somebody to see what's actually happening when when you're going through video and what's on the television might be different than what's on the camera. At least you're showing both of them. Mm -hmm. The one I watched and I can only see some pictures you have no idea what they're talking about. Yes. Yeah. And that, that's that's another thing. It's like I don't want to do that again. I don't. I want to show my reference. Why don't I don't remember you ever doing it. This oh, I did. I've done it. I know she's going to end up making it look exactly right. Oh, I don't, hey, don't, 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 it, 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 and again, there's a lot of wiping off. It's, it's not going to necessarily, and, and, you want to get it again? Go ahead. I was, 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 I was,
Okay. And it's Sorry. not gonna it's not gonna Between look here and there. Well hey, Jeez. you don't have to go out yeah, I can see the colors. I, mean, I, I can send you the stills if you want to do like a step by step stills. Yeah. I should have taken one earlier. But that's um, pulling it very different. It yeah. is. Because the color on there is yeah. different than and it's see much softer. Yeah, it's soft. Thing. That's a good one. But it's still, I don't, uh, and the photos make it darker than it is. Even mm -hmm. up there, that painting is not as dark as this photo. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so photos make the shadows darker than they really are. Uh, and anyway, what I'm doing is I'm adding to some of this down here, some of this purple. Um, Ultramarine mix. Mm-hmm. It, w it was the ultramarine with the, um, the, p the pink that I added up in the sky because this was too green for me for the water and I'll have to come back and add even, I mean, I, I'm not, it, there'll be a lot more shadows and things added, but I just wanted to change the, the feel of the color more to match the sky and there's some low purpley clouds right in here and so I want that mimicked right below it because the water reflects what um, what's above it okay while I'm well I'm gonna go back to the mackerel sky I think that's so cool I didn't even know that's what it was called Oh, a mackerel sky because they look like fish scales. Isn't that right? It is. Actually, I forgot it was called mackerel. It's been a long time since I heard it. So, you know, I'm learning all sorts of stuff. You know, oh, this is it. Okay, I didn't know. All right, again, I'm putting the sky in the the. I'm I'm more I'm more solid because I know I'm gonna come back over with other things, but this is very thin. And I'm just looking to see where it gets a little darker uh, and try to mimic the ripples that I see. As it gets further out, you get lighter and just barely touch your brush. You don't have hardly anything in your brush. Is this making sense to y'all? Okay, I need a little more paint. I'll start at the bottom when I add more paint because it's heavy, heavier down in here. Uh, I'm trying to leave a gap between here and here. So if I look at my photograph, if I, if I need to put little reminders of you know, not to go any further than that, that's helpful. Because sometimes I paint when I'm not home. <laughs> it's true. You just, you know, you just start going for it. And and then these are sort of in a row, but I don't want them all even. All right, so I'm all right with that. Some of these are a little darker, so I'll come in right in here. It's a little darker here. And I want to also change some of this in here. All right, right next to the shadow of the, or the reflection of the sun, uh, I want it more purple. Anybody know why? Mm -hmm. Is it What did you say, Hillary? It will make it Yep. Yeah, compliments uh, vibrate when they're put next to each other. And uh, I'm going to be putting in, well, orange isn't the compliment, but yellow is a compliment to, to violet. Orange is a compliment to blue. So when I have blue next to orange, there's going to be a vibrancy anyway. Um, so now I want to make sure that this is a little redder right in here. Get 
that magenta. I hmm? no, this green and almost looked, it didn't look like orange. It, it's weird. I mean, let's mm. see, like that looks really dark and it's a pale pink. It's a, it's a pink. You can't even tell it. I want that up in the sky. This was the hardest part of this whole painting was the sun um, to me. Because you don't, you want it bright, but you want to make it believable. So, but, but the glare, when you look at the sun, when you look at the sun, it's going to be glary because it's bright. Even when it's down on the horizon. So, but it's going to be kind of a blur because of the glare. Unless there's so much um, reaction with your... Um, atmosphere that it kind of neutralizes it. Anyway, I'm going to quit talking and paint. I need more yellow right around. Right up next to it will be some yellow. It's too, too yellow. I want more orange for a reflection. You don't want your reflection to all be... See, right now that's all in a straight line. So you want to break it up. So I'm going to drag some of the color across. And if it's not thick enough to drag across, I'll pick some up. So it's, it's there, but it's not a straight line. And how a wave can break it up. You just you just don't want it to be all the same. It's getting there. You'd have to go through an ugly stage. Y'all remember that, right? <laughs> don't forget the ugly stages. And right about here. Oh, I didn't remove some of that. Let me remove some of the darker. Right in here, it's real a, a larger swatch of orange. And if I hadn't removed some of that, it wouldn't be bright enough. Might have been too much, but it's okay. I have the hardest time with the dimensions of how big to put something in the room. Oh, I think that's just something what you always work, you know, that you just continue to to work on. What I'm doing mm -hmm. here is I'm just scumbling some orange and I pick up a little bit of the magenta because I want the sand the wet sand to read the color of the sky. It's really cool there. It's so cool. It looks really cool on our actual mm -hmm. paintings. But it's very thin. So you, you, again, you got to get through that ugly stage. You're just like, ugh. Yeah, just you look at so it and you go, oh. It does. That's why you have to really, actually, in this one case, look at your painting, because it's painted beautiful. In that, it's just so weird how, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going back to some light yellow and reestablish the circle. Might have to hit it with a little more, um, Maybe a little yellow in it, but see when I add just a, a little bit more on the waves as it reflects further down toward. Mm -hmm. Sorry. That's okay. I want this 
I want this dirt in here to be darker because it's not wet like the other and opposite of purple I'm going to add some of this orange in there to, it's not dark enough I'm going to get my dioxazine purple which is even darker I'm just, I, just, I just need a darker neutral right in here and it has the orange in it so it um, it has enough of the same color to make it look like it belongs but um, it's also what I'm going to create under the wave in the wave you don't want all the same width so vary that I'm just using the tip of my brush to push some of the paint into it and I want a little bit darker right in there because the wave's bigger and then there's little bits of it over here a little bit here a little bit there so it's starting to to come in I'm, I like this purple dark I'm going to add a little bit more back in here I don't want it as dark as what's up front so I just blur it out I didn't even look what time it is y'all Okay, I gotta hurry up. Alright, and, and in here there's not much difference between the horizon and the um there's not the, it's not that light, so I'm just gonna take my dirty brush And soften the edge between the sky and the land oh one thing I didn't I don't well I was gonna do that on the clouds okay so I'm I'm pretty happy with what's going on down here I add a little more vibrancy here Looks a little funny having no orange on either side, so add a little bit of orange. And when I look up close, what created this ripple was a little bit of ripple in the water, so I'll put that in. All right, so now again, you know, this is not bad. There's a little moisture up there, but it's it's not bad. But we're honestly, um, we're not far from finishing it. How's the water look from there? Great. Yeah. Well, here it looks great. Yeah. Yeah. Can I take one more picture yeah. of your real thing? Or the real thing? I mean, I love the video, but it's a different color palette. It is. It's weird. How so I can send you these? Yeah. Not that I'm the best. You can get straight on top if you want. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so um, is it pretty accurate on your phone? Yeah, it's yes, pretty it accurate. Yeah, much different. Much I can different. send these to all of you. Good. Because <laughs> it's, it's like, I want, you know, again, now it could be because it's from this. You know, the, this is a, the document camera is what's putting that up. Right. So it might be, it might be pretty I'm accurate okay, on my phone. Yeah. Uh -huh. So when I'm trying to paint from this, I'm not getting it through a true I color like you this. are. Give me your phone. Yeah, see how much, lighter, see yeah. how much lighter mine is? Mm -hmm. Okay, so remember this right. first pale color that I used in the background? Mm -hmm. This pinkish peach? Now I'm picking it up a little thicker. And I'm going, okay, I, I'm seeing most of the light is on the left side of, of some of these clumps. So I'm going to start laying in some of the pink in between some of these uh, rivets of cloud. I don't know what you'd call them. Again, this is fairly dark and, and the clouds that I'm working on and even the, the pink that I'm putting in there 
is on the dark side right now. I'm going to come back in a minute and add lighter to it. But I'm just trying to establish where it is right now that I want this lighter tone. So I'm just right now kind of thinking underneath and to the left. So underneath and to the left is easy enough to just kind of follow along. Um, you don't want to put it everywhere, everywhere, but uh, almost. And as, as it gets down here, it's flatter. It's poofy.